All right. The next types of conflict that we're going to discuss are, I thought there were four more. I guess there's three more. Um, person versus the supernatural. Um, I mean, this is where most of your your um, fantasy or paranormal um, or even horror is going to fall. This is a supernatural conflict, introduces elements that are beyond this world. Um, so the first one that springs to mind is Dracula. Um, definitely a super supernatural element to, to Dracula. Um, there are others, uh, you know, any of your fantasies that involve any kind of a magic or even um, a paranormal, like uh, The Haunting of Hill House, um, where, you know, the haunted house is essentially causing the conflict be- for the characters. Um, you can have, um, trying to think of other ones, uh, <sighs> supernatural, you could do the exorcist, you know, where a girl is possessed by a demon. Um, that's an otherworldly force. And that is the main plot uh, of that. Any exorcism, um, movies, any of your horrors that might include, um, you know, any kind of uh, demons, vampires, uh, werewolves, any kind of supernatural um, antagonist would be um, considered person versus supernatural. And like I said, even fantasy where you bring in magic. So even like Lord of the Rings, I mean, Sauron is essentially a supernatural being, kind of almost a godlike evil being. You know, and then you have all of these wizards and and you have magical spells and elves and it is definitely a supernatural or otherworldly um, type of conflict. Um, You have person on person. So I like to call this rivals. You know, it's person versus person where you pit two characters against each other, you know, and they are matched up head to head in direct opposition to one another. So you could think Harry Potter and Lord Voldemort. You can think Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader where they are literally pitted against one another um, as ongoing rivals, which is back and forth for the entire book or or movie series. Um, causing immense conflict uh, between in the narrative. Uh, last one is person versus destiny. Um, so basically destiny becomes a conflict, um, revolves around the characters attempting to change or fulfill their predetermined fate um, or, you know, either escape it or fulfill um, some sort of a prophecy. Um, Oedipus Rex is one of these where Oedipus attempts to escape his prophesied fate um, only to fulfill it in a tragic twist of events. Um, That one is a little bit extreme, but you could go back to the Harry Potter. I mean, there's a prophecy and he's fated to, you know, be the one to fight uh, Lord Voldemort. Uh, Lord of the Rings can also be one where, you know, they have this... um, failure to destroy the ring and therefore it's believed that you know in the next age it will come again and they will have to you know take the ring and destroy it um and there will be a destiny there that will have to be uh fulfilled so think of any of your destiny type movies um even like the matrix uh neo is the one you know he's the chosen one his destiny um is kind of laid out for him. He has, you know, to accept his fate um, or fight it. And, you know, however that plays out um, from beginning to end, there's a lot of different ways it can go. You know, either they can go along with their destiny or they can choose to fight it one or the other. But yeah, usually these stories are the prophecy stories. A lot of chosen one stories, you know, someone is supposed to fulfill a specific role, whether they like it or not, they're just kind of forced into this particular fate and or destiny. um, And that can um, cause conflict, can cause a lot of internal conflict. Honestly, you could go back to the first one. Um, Like I said, when you're crafting your story, you'll have 
you won't just have one of these. I mean, stories will have multiple different kinds of conflict. I mean, you can take 1984. I used it as an example of person versus technology with Big Brother spying, but Big Brother is kind of the government and societal entity, if you will. So it could also be a person versus society issue as well. Um, it's also kind of an internal struggle um, trying to, to where Winston Smith, he kind of, he's grappling with his own identity and how he kind of doesn't fit in um, and questions everything around him, you know, what he hasn't been completely brainwashed like everybody else. He thinks a little bit different um, and therefore he knows he's different and that's kind of an internal conflict with him. So, you know, these are the different kinds of conflict um, and they can keep your reader engaged and continue reading if you can um, do a good job of writing and conveying these and keeping your reader hooked.